and welcome to I Heart Reviewing Stuff. So I went to Target. Uh, I was on the hunt for Series 2 Tweens. Uh, I think I've been going almost every day. <laughs> uh, I have like three of the four barcodes, um, thanks to everyone who's been sharing those. So like I scan it at the store, but my stores are saying like that it's not in the back and the availability is unknown. Um, there was an aisle number uh, at the Target I went to, but they weren't in uh, the area that it said. They were, um, that area is like an overstock of Christmas to double check. Like I think Target shelves are so full that they had to kind of make some extra aisles um, for all the toys. Uh, so anyway, but I found these, which I didn't even know about. Uh, of course I went for Skater Girl. Uh, since the one I have, her hair is kind of a hot mess, <laughs> um, but she has the real hair, which I really like the ones that have uh, the real rooted hair for these little tiny dolls that have been around like five years now, because I think they started December 2016, I was told, um, which I think we were, I don't know if we bought them in 2016, we might have bought them in 2017. I remember buying some series one and two and the series two little sisters. Um, but Marissa didn't take a super big interest in them, to be honest. She was really focused on wanting one that peed with all the like water surprises. Uh, and that took a while to get. She didn't get one until like glitter series. And she was more excited, I would say, with like confetti pop. Even though confetti pop, I think like, I think series one and two, when we were buying them, I heard that they were, $7.99 from the very beginning. And then they, I think, quickly went up to $9.99 each for these little uh, tots. Um, but I think Confetti Pop, I feel like it went up to like $12.99. And then there was Pets in Series 3. Uh, and those, were, I think, were like 10 bucks, And then the Little Sisters were like $6.99. Now it's interesting. They re-released some Little Sisters and they made them only $4.99. Um, so yeah, but anyway, that's the one I have. She never could really wear the hat. So I'm excited that this one has molded hair. So she wears the hat a lot better than this one can. Um, this one comes with an extra like travel neck pillow, uh, which is pretty cool. Cause she has like a little arcade airplane um, ride uh, to play on. Um, but she does usually come with a little wristband. Uh, I just don't have it on this one. And this I know is a color changer. I have no idea about this tot, if it's going to be a color changer or not. Uh, and I'm curious about the planes movement. I'm hoping it's cool. Um, no idea what to expect. That's really all she comes with is this big piece. So I'm hoping that like they consider that we should make it cool. Um, also these are visible now. It's funny that it took five years for that. Um, originally, I think the first furniture might have had plastic blind bags. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, I don't even know what series number this would be considered because there was series, sheesh, I want to say one through four were called furniture. And then I think so this is probably six because I think five would be considered the ones that say hangout spaces and they say winter chill and you still don't see um you don't see it like this it's in like the original kind of packaging um they did change their blind bags to tissue paper um and paper like products uh which I like um I still, I think this is better. I think it's good for consumers to see what exactly they're buying. Because over the years, shopping in the LOL surprise aisle, I've always ran into uh, fellow customers who are there usually buying for like somebody's birthday and they know that the kid is into LOL surprise, but they don't understand at all what it is that they're buying because, you know, they would come in this surprise ball and like, you know, it's, even though there's like artwork and stuff, I think consumers are just confused. Like if they don't have kids that are buying it, like they're out of the loop. Um, so I think this is much better to see like, oh, okay, there's some little doll in here and she comes with like this. And, you know, I think you can 
understand a little better of what you're buying. Uh, so some other ones that are in this series uh, is Yacht BB, who comes with like a little floaty. She comes with an extra perfume little charm uh, that she didn't have originally. It was like hooked on her hand uh, in the packaging. My Instagram, I already posted the picture so people can see these. Um, but yeah, she originally comes with the bottle, the shoes, the outfit, the glasses. It looks like she's got a little towel. It said you can put real water in her hot tub um, on the packaging at the store. Riptide, definitely the original did not come with glasses, if you can see those. Uh, and then she's got two popsicle charms. It looks like they gave two bottles. I didn't even pick up on that at the store. Um, and then there's two chairs and uh, this little like they call it, you know, a snack bar because they want us to be, you know, kid friendly, even though <laughs> kind of looks like a bar. Um, it says BBs on top of it. I thought it was really cute. Um, if they hadn't made this one, Riptides probably would have tempted me the most. Um, probably because of those popsicle charms, to be honest. Um, but Riptides, like, not my favorite tot. I think. Oh, and these ones also have OMG dolls. I know two have not released yet. Skater Girls and Sweet Princesses OMG dolls have not released yet. I believe those will be visible as well. Um, and then these um, haven't had like a really wide release yet. Um, it's interesting they left out Vacay Baby um, as a tot. They only did these two. But yeah, they have Budget Swim OMG line. Uh, but you want to check like discount stores for them or like Walgreens. I think it's like Walgreens, Family Dollar, Ollie's, Dee Dee's discounts um, to see if you can find the swim OMG dolls. And some have articulation and some don't, um, but they're really cute dolls. Uh, so yeah, so they're advertising this to go with like the newest house that has like a rainbow looking slide and stuff. Uh, we have the original doll house the very first one this i did think would be cute i have the clubhouse and i thought this would be a cute piece to have for the clubhouse so anyway let me stop yakking since uh, i haven't even opened anything yet and i'll show the airplane and i'm hoping that it's cool <laughs> and that it's not like oh hmm. so and hopefully i'll figure it out uh, I had trouble with the, um, Cozy Babes furniture set. Uh, it's interesting. Oh, that's what I was going to say about those. Um, so the Winter Chill ones. So this is just, you know, totally for you to go recycle. Uh, but it is, I think, I feel like this is less packaging. So what does this say? Thank you for purchasing our product. Fill out the information on the back side of this card and mail to, oh, what is this for? Or scan the QR code below to fill out the questionnaire. Parent signature. This card should be completed only by an adult or parent. Huh. Okay. So I guess they want like some little, um, hmm, what exactly? They don't give <laughs> much space here. What toys would you like us to create? What's your favorite feature? And do you have suggestions to improve the product? Um, so that's interesting. I mean, you could just scan it so they get it that way online. Because otherwise, I mean, expecting someone to put this in an envelope and put a stamp on it for you. I don't know if you're really going to get people to do that. But that's cool. I guess they want some feedback on these. Again, after five years. Um, so let's take a look here. It looks like, yeah, she's going to be a... It. They're not saying anything about her being a color change anymore. So they must have put a different body. Oh yeah, I don't see like this one. Uh, like her underwear gets like a checkerboard on it. I'm trying to remember what else she looked like. Oh yeah, and I think some flames on her top show up in the freezer. So yeah, this one I can already tell she doesn't have the undergarments under her clothes. So... It's not going to be the color changer. Uh, oh, put these back on there. Okay, and then her socks might do something too, but I don't remember. 
And then they give you some like instructions for the plane. Uh, I like that this looks like a fabric seat belt because that's one thing I don't like about the Barbie extra car is the uh, plastic seat belts just look so cheap. Um, so let me see here. We've got like this coin, which is cool. Like, you know, gives you like a feel for it being like, you know, something like you would play at Chuck E. Cheese, even though Chuck E. Cheese does cards now. So this is a little retro here, giving us a coin. Um, let's see how else I can get her out of here and try to show you guys. There is like, a, I guess, a cute background, I think, still given in this. So I think this is a good step in the right direction for MGA to make it so people actually see everything and there's less waste. Uh, with this, but I don't really know if um, people who've been collecting from the beginning uh, like this, or if they're like, no, no, we like it the way it was. I'm not really sure. Oh, it is very... <laughs> uh, yeah, this is kind of a flimsy, cheap piece of plastic feel to it. Like, it's not as good a quality as I would say they gave in the OMG dolls. I think there's two in the travel ones that got these travel pillows. Cause this feels like too much like it could break. Um, like with play over time, like I just see this being able to be totally ripped. It's too thin. I think it needed to be thicker, but maybe they couldn't, I don't know. I feel like there is space. Oops, there goes her bottle that they could have made this thicker and still fit the doll. I don't know. And it's weird that it's pink for Skater Girl. I don't really know what the decision was uh, for that. Uh, but yeah, she can wear her hat forward or backward. I like it forward because then we see more of the checkerboard that matches her shoes. Um, really cute. She's got like the Fanime hairdo and super BB. This hairdo has been done a lot. Oh, there's some plastic inside of here. Probably for the hat to keep its shape, even though it was on her head. Uh, let's see if I can take that out. But yeah, definitely fits on more snug on her head than when you <laughs> have a bunch of hair to deal with, especially since I do need to like kind of give this girl a brushing. Um, but yeah, so that's the other one. Okay, so there is like Something. Okay. It's pointing to an arrow. I have no idea. Is there some sort of button? Or... So it definitely does that. <laughs> so I apologize if, like, I figure out that this does something cool after. What is this? I don't really know what this part's supposed to do. Okay. Does this lift up? Okay, this lifts up. It's cool that they put a little cardboard cut out of her little sister inside of there. Oh, okay. There's a little seat belt actually in here as well that would attach. Oops, I think I have it twisted. Is that a pet peeve of mine? I don't know if anybody else has this pet peeve. I don't like when my seat belt's like twisted up. So there's a little seat in here, definitely uh, cannot fit, uh, <laughs> an LOL regular size tot in this little seat compartment. I wonder if you could fit a pet. Uh, that would be cool because we tend to like, uh, be more into the pets than the little sisters, but definitely since they showed a little sister, I'm assuming that they fit. Hopefully whether they're sitting or standing, it'll work. So that's cool. She's in the, hmm. They call it a cockpit. I'm not sure. Um, and then we have like a cute, if I can show it, steering wheel that you can kind of move a little bit. And then you have your larger seat inside there. And I'm assuming, yeah, seat belt and it's stretchy. Uh, I feel like the glamper has this kind of seat belt and it makes a good snap. Uh, so, you know, it's buckled. It says BB Air on it. I think this is kind of a smaller version of the huge airplane they made that I didn't buy because I wasn't interested in it. Okay, but I don't see, hmm, I'm just wondering because I'm not 
seen anything on here. Let me just look again at the instructions. They show like put the coin in, but there's not nothing about batteries. So now I'm thinking, uh, what kind of movement do we really get out of this? Hmm. Okay, <laughs> it might not be as exciting as I, okay, yeah, because I stick the coin in. I didn't see anything happen. I wish this, oh, okay, you can, okay, you can play with this little lever. Okay, that is kind of what these sort of rides do, don't they kind of go like, a little up and down and I mean they kind of appeal to like two and three year olds uh maybe even four and five uh Marissa's eight now so we haven't gone to Chuck E. Cheese in like two years because of everything going on in the world uh so so yeah okay I kind of wish it was electronic so that I didn't have to do this but Marissa probably won't mind like I guess it makes it more interactive for a kid to make it move so the coins uh I don't think important let me see do I get as much oh no okay so the coin you do have to stick that coin in the coin makes it so that you can move this more okay so at least they did make the coin actually important to it okay and before I end I'll s let's see how the tot looks in there I'm Assuming she can't uh, probably bring her drink. There's not a ton of space in here for her. But yeah, her legs fit. Even the hat's kind of awkward. Okay. Get her seat belt. Safety. I'm having trouble though. Where do I? Let me snap it in and then figure out how do I kind of get her. Seems like, shouldn't it go over your shoulder I feel like her arms in the way um okay so yeah so she fits in there you have to kind of these kind of sit weird um their legs don't go like just straight out in front of them they kind of do a little bit of the splits uh so you have to kind of fool around with that and then get them in there so yeah so I would say uh still cool I want it to be electronic um, but at least I am happy that they made the coin important to this functioning because you do have to put the coin in to make it do this much movement. So it is like going up in the back and then kind of, you know, it's, it's doing what these kind of toys in real life do. There's not a whole lot to them, you know, that you stick your coins into. So yeah, overall, she's cool. I think this was too flimsy uh I would say Riptide coming with those popsicle charms and definitely that perfume charm that was on Yacht BB and she has a little inner tube um I would say you're gonna get better quality accessories oh excuse me sorry I have to take a drink <coughs> okay Oh, I try to make it, <laughs> but I can't always make it without having to need some fluids. Uh, so yeah, I would say you get better quality. I know that inner tube is going to be good quality, and I could see the perfume charm. The popsicle charms are good. Um, this one, she already came wearing everything that she comes with originally. Um, her canopy can go up and down on her day bed, they're calling it. I guess you get like a little end table. This right here looks like a pillow to me, um, just in a different kind of shape. Uh, but yeah, so these are $14.99 at Target. So, uh, oh, let me, see. oh, oh, oh my gosh. Okay, actually there's <laughs> something a little more exciting back here that I almost didn't see. I'm glad I didn't throw this out. Okay, no detail on it. Hmm. Uh, which is not like MGA to do. So we get this plain red backpack. It's interesting that they didn't decide to, there's like a broken heart on here. There's this little kitty palm. Uh, you know, there's zipper details and stuff on it, but it's interesting that they decided not to paint anything 
extra on this and I'm not sure if it's as good a quality as previous backpacks they've done. Usually they would give these with like um, little sisters, I think, would come with bags. I think maybe sometimes the little tiny pets would. Uh, but yeah, so okay. <laughs> I was like excited at first and then like, okay, there's no surprise in here that you get. Uh, I don't even remember this being advertised. Oh no, it is. Okay, they do show her that she comes with that backpack. Okay. I just almost missed that because it was kind of hidden in the back here. So it's a little harder to see their background. She's got like a BB driver and a super slide, uh, arcade games with like stools uh, or in her background. But again, the way this is packaged, you probably wouldn't really keep this. Um, to me, it's just uh, something to recycle. But I guess they're still tr probably trying to give people who were into the whole making the box a playset. I think they're trying to still give them something as well. Because um, I'm sure they're a little nervous to maybe be doing these kind of changes where you see what you're getting. But they know some people maybe liked certain things. So... That's cool that they give this little comment card thing. So I might try to do it online. Uh, since I am very opinionated, like I'm not afraid to give my advice. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.